Well, 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 we are back, and we're back with day two with seven minutes of Sonic Frontiers gameplay. I have to check this out. There's, there's, there's just nothing to it. I just have to check this out. I didn't realize that the day after that they posted teaser footage from Sonic Frontiers, that the literal next day that they were going to post seven minutes of raw gameplay, I think. I don't know. Um, all I know is that it's seven minutes of gameplay, quote unquote. So, uh... We have to give it a look. Let's see. Let's see what's up. All right. Whew. I'm scared. I don't. I, I honestly like. I see this and it and it scares me. I don't know if it's like gonna be a good thing. If it's gonna be a bad thing. Um, but hey, let's just watch it. Let's just see what goes on, and then we'll go from there. IGN first for the month of June 2022 is all about Sonic Frontiers. We've got gameplay, we've got previews, and we've got interviews from the developers who made it all happen. Wait, all so is there going to be we'll way be more? Into what you can expect when the game makes its way to you later down the road. First okay. up, we've got the world premiere gameplay focusing on exploring the mysterious island that Sonic suddenly finds himself stranded on at the start of the game. Be sure to stick with IGN throughout June so you don't miss anything. Until then, here's your first look at gameplay from Sonic Frontiers. Is there just going to be news every day? Like, what do you mean? How much more could they show us? You think they're actually going to show us a release date, maybe? Yo, this is sick. Okay, I'm not going to lie to you. That looked a this this looks good, but that little section there with the boxes looked a little sketch. Okay. Oh, they're stomp. Okay, they're stomping. Was that a homing attack? I guess it was. Looks like you can run up those walls in whatever areas they're at. Purple coins. That's kind of new. I saw they disappeared kind of like almost like with a cyber wave behind it. That's so weird to see Sonic climbing. Have we ever seen Sonic climb like that? Well, I guess he climbs ladders and stuff, but never like the sides of like towers. <laughs> Sorry, I just had like a sneezing fit. Oh, little balloons. That's actually cool. That's so satisfying. Probably the homing attack. A platform? Does the triangle go up? Or is it... Oh, you know what that looks like? It looks like some sort of launch pad. Dude, there's going to be so much to look at after this. Well, what was the point of being up there? Is this a little... Okay. I was wondering if it was slowed down. Like, it, he almost went into, like, a slow-mo effect. But no, he was just not boosting. Okay, there appears to be just like little rail sections all over the place. Hmm. My question is, is like, hmm, this seems great and all, but what's like, I, I hope there's like more secrets. Like I want to, I want them to show us an example of like what you can see, like what you can find. Okay, enemy. Whoa, that guy kind of charged him, dude. He went so fast. <laughs> I wonder if they're going to show off more of the combat. I'm really, really, really curious to see more of the combat. Yep. More walls you can run on with, uh, like, the purple crystal. Lots of enemies down there. Dude, I like that this area seems really big, though. Look how freely you can just, like, run around. Tricks? Okay. Oh, this is sick. 
some sort of statue puzzle, maybe? To get into the door? Oh, okay. I thought maybe you would have to move them around, but I didn't realize that he could twist. Okay, yes. What's up with the question mark signs? There's tons of question mark signs everywhere. It just seems that all of them have something going on with them. Oh. Oh, that's cool. What is that? Was that like a rock or like a melon or something? Ooh, a big spiderweb arena. Maybe a big spiderweb boss. Or sorry, a big spider boss might be there. There's rails literally everywhere. They almost look out of place though. Which I don't know if I like. Yo, he's running with a bird. <laughs> Let's go, bird friend. <laughs> Random pulleys, more forest. Okay, this is from uh, the teaser. Or at least that little area was from the teaser. Where there was like a chaos emerald or something there. Oh, so the bird does that with you a lot. Dude, that's cool. I like that the bird boosts with you. He's like riding the wave. I kind of like the sound of the boost. I, I, because there's no boost meter, it's making me think that you can boost freely. Because I don't know. Hmm. There hasn't been anything that I've seen that you would collect for more boost meter. Maybe the hearts or something, but that could also just be like a health system. Did he fail the puzzle? Ah. Come on, you got it. Yes, he's got to figure it out. Yes. Yes. What do you get, though? Is it another melon? Oh, it's like a, it's like a jelly bean shaped thing. Am I stupid? Should I know what that is as a Sonic fan? Oh, they are little creatures. Dude, I was wondering what this was in the teaser because I, I remember seeing those little guys just like running around. Okay, and that one was uh, a similarly shaped bean. What the heck? Okay, well, pff, there is, again, a lot to unpack here. So let's yet again start from the beginning. I'm, look, I think... It's, it's sick to see some more gameplay, but I don't know if I feel more excited or more worried about the game. I feel like a lot of the things that I saw here were great, but still the world seems kind of empty. And of course, like the game's not out yet. It's really hard to say like what's going to go in there, but like we'll start from the beginning. We'll start from the beginning, shall we? Let's start from the very, very start. IGN first for the month of June 2022. Okay, we don't really care about the intro. So immediately, I think this looks gorgeous. I really like this intro. Um, my first impression of this is like, wow, this really does feel like kind of like Xenoblade-esque, maybe like Breath of the Wild-esque. Um, but it's all because of the, the, the light piano music and everything um, and just the open space with the fields and stuff. One thing I really, really hope is that we get to see more than this grassy area that we've been shown so far. And this is honestly, okay, this right away made me feel a little bit pensive. And let me show you what I mean. So like everything looks kind of strange here with like the rings are turning slow, whatever, whatever, not that big of a deal. Sonic jumps for the first time. And he like partially lands on a box and it shatters into a million pieces. Like I can't tell if he did like a punch here or whatever. But there is just something so awkward about how this worked. Um, one thing also to note uh, that I think is important, especially for like speedrunning and stuff, is let's look at like how Sonic jumps here. Now, it's hard to tell 
if he's holding the A button or not. Generally in Sonic games, you hold the A button, you get a little bit more height um, for your jumps. So it's hard to tell if the person who's playing here uh, like tapped the jump button or was holding it. Um, but Sonic didn't really look like he went too high there, honestly. Which I don't think is a bad thing, but also could be not that great for like uh, speed running. You know, the more your jumps have height, the better you're able to traverse different areas and like abuse like uh, momentum changes with like speed boosting and stuff off of slopes. Um, but this, this is huge right here. Stomping is great. So stomping in like other Sonic games where they're like applicable. Um, for example, Sonic Colors. In Sonic Colors, the stomp is great because you can stop all forward momentum by just the, the press of a button. You'll slam right down. And um, a lot of the movement tech is actually based around the stomp. So you'll jump up to a certain area or you'll jump off of a ledge and stomp down really fast so that you can just boost forward um, and just start moving as quickly as possible. And I think the fact that they kept this stomp in the game uh is huge because as you can tell there's this tower there's going to be a lot of big drops like this like this and then like cliffs and stuff like that so this is huge this is sick super excited to see this home so there's a ton of these blue crystal blue and green crystal like maybe even purple um walls that are all over the place where obviously you can run up them um and i it seems like they're in really specific spots i had a theory that when they showed original screenshots of Frontiers, like when it was like the very like the the very first thing we saw from Frontiers, um, that those areas would be things that like Sonic could run on, um, or they were like intended to be run on. We'll we'll have to see how it's used more. Um, there's obviously purple collectible coins that we have no clue what those are for. It it reminds me of the Odyssey uh, collectibles because in each Mario Odyssey Kingdom. Um, there's purple collectibles where you can use those to like purchase cosmetics. So maybe, who knows, maybe Sonic has some more cosmetics he can get. Um, which I think would be kind of cool. Here the person is just moving slowly, admiring the view. And honestly, look, this, this game does seem like it's going to look gorgeous. So here we get really, really high up to get to the top of the tower. And one thing I don't really like is, you know, there's probably like some sort of cutscene here or something like that. But all we see is this triangle pad. And maybe we learn more about this triangle pad in the future. But it's like, okay, you climb the top of the tower and you get a view. Which is like, so it should be kind of like a reward in itself in a video game to like earn a view, I guess. But it just didn't feel like it was that hard to like get to the top of. So it's like, I really hope that you get something more. Just like even like a small collectible or something, but they're obviously not showcasing it here. Here's another part from the teaser is the rails. And one thing that I can't tell if I like or not is the overwhelming amount of rails that are just all over the place. I think it kind of feels like slightly out of place um, from like a game perspective. I think from a speedrunning perspective, it might be nice just because rails are pretty fast, it seems, to travel on if you have boost. So from getting from point A to point B, like... Rails are probably going to be one of your best friends. So there we see a heart. Um, and oh, and there is that like red pokey jelly bean kind of thing. Uh, two collectible things that uh, maybe it boosts Sonic's stats or something. Or again, maybe it's just another collectible that could be used on like, cosmetics or maybe some other things in some sort of in-game shop. Who knows? Um... He got another heart there. And my theory is, is those hearts are the only collectible that I've seen that maybe could be tied to boost and like how much boost you get to use. Because obviously there's no HUD here. We don't know if boosting is infinite or if it's something that has like a cooldown or something that is uh, you need to replenish with collectibles. So that's the only thing that I could think of that might be tied to boosting. But otherwise, boosting seems like it's pretty infinite. Which, it seems like then, the whole goal of this game would be you're literally boosting the entire time, but you're going to have to, like, whenever you need to do, have, like, fine motor skills, and, like, maybe step on a specific switch, or jump towards a specific edge or something, maybe that's when you wouldn't boost. We see here that there's a trick system. And actually... Maybe that's the boost, those sparkles there. 
maybe maybe you have to do like specific tricks and stuff to earn boost which i think would be kind of cool i don't know if i would prefer it to be infinite boost or not i feel like it'd be a little bit more lame if it was infinite boost nice for speed running because then you have complete access to this broken tool that can be used literally anywhere um and help you traverse like big gaps and get from point a to point b faster it's a boost like literally it makes sonic go fast that's what we want as speedrunners, right so here they're showcasing how there's gonna be like little puzzles like i think this is like the first time i can recall seeing something like this in a sonic game this is definitely more zelda-esque where he grabs onto the statue it seems and look sonic is hidden here but it seems he's using a bracelet Let's see if I can... Oh, no. He sticks out his hand. Okay, okay. Never mind. I thought maybe he had some sort of bracelet or something he was using to move it. Because it's kind of glowy. But it seems his hand is just glowy in general. But it opens up another path. Further down the path, we see more of these question mark symbols. Which it seems every single time you see a question mark symbol, there is some sort of miniature puzzle of some kind to interact with. So that you can earn uh, another collectible. Which, again, my guess is based on the things that we've seen that maybe each of these boosts sonic stats in some sort of way because that one was different that looked like sort of like a melon or some sort of rock candy or something i think this arena is really dope i really wish we could see like under it and stuff we're running over it's pretty nice just to see what's going on there I don't know if I like the fact that the question mark uh, symbols exist for like showing you where certain things are in the area because it's like, hey, there's a secret here. It doesn't really make it so secret and it makes it not exactly uh, satisfying to find. Again, here we have Sonic just kind of running around more freely. That was the first time I think I've seen the air boost. Okay, so you can do a boost midair. See, that's expected but something i hadn't seen yet before um and it looks like if you do that at the right spot you could just get a little bit of extra distance on a jump oh whoa actually uh, that i don't like the look of that it looks like maybe they just let go of boost here at the exact time that they jumped but it looked like jumping stopped all momentum um okay wow so this right here as a speedrunner is a little bit kind of just like, oh, that's kind of sad. Look at this. So when he jumps here, in a lot of Sonic games, when you jump with boost, like he is still in boost here. You can tell because it's blurred. You maintain your momentum and you get to carry that with you to like extreme distances. But here... We look at this and we can tell right away that when he jumps, he actually loses a ton of speed and doesn't really carry the boost momentum with him. So we might not have as much crazy movement freedom as, as I was expecting initially. It is nice that it seems smooth to like run up the sides of like uh, steep cliffs like that. Here they're just kind of showcasing another puzzle. I really wish they would have spent this time showing more combat but i guess this is just to kind of give you like an idea of like what sonic is like uh moving in this world you know and again dude i'm really curious about these cute little rock creatures they're adorable that looked weird hey you want to do that again okay so look sonic jumps on and then there's a little bit of time where it centers the camera with the wheel i don't know if that's intentional but uh, it looked a little bit sloppy. Yeah, dude, I don't know. The biggest thing that I've seen from this is uh, a few cool things, right? Like we have Stomp. Stomp is great. Stomp is uh, a super great tool for speedrunning, and uh, that's going to be dope. Uh, Movement-wise, Stomp has always been a good thing, I think, uh, in the Sonic games that it's in. But just watching Sonic jump, I think it's here. That's bothering, man. Like, I guess, okay, I guess he keeps some of the moment momentum. It just, it seems like maybe he loses more. Because of, like, where, I don't know, like, where he's at. 
Like the the camera angle here makes it look like he loses more speed than he does, maybe. Yeah, maybe I'm tripping a little bit. Maybe it's fine. But one thing I really, really, really want to see from all of this is we need some more areas, man. Like, I, I really hope, like, I don't know exactly how much uh, Frontiers news we're going to get over the span of this next month because I feel like they've done two really big things. They gave us a teaser, and then this is our first showcase of uh, gameplay. Um... So really, it's going to be hard to tell like where this is going to go from here. I I really wish, though, that they showed us a little bit more than just these puzzles that are kind of sprinkled throughout the, the different worlds and stuff that we're going to be traversing. Just because, like, it, it really slows down the pace of things. And, and I feel like I, I want to know what's the point, you know? My brain is telling me, because I'm a speedrunner, what's the point? Why would I spend my time doing these puzzles? Aside from just a, a being a completionist and trying to like unlock a platinum trophy for doing all of the puzzles. So yeah, guys, I don't know. Listen, as much as I'm excited to see new gameplay, I'm at the same time just a tad pensive. There's some really great things we saw in there. Like again, we saw the stomp. We saw how free the movement was. You can pretty much go wherever you want. But at the same time, I'm worried about just the different areas that we got to see that were explored um we see we get to collect these like collectible things but what do they do what is the purpose of it because if there's no real like good purpose behind the things that we're able to collect then it's like why am i drawn to do these different puzzles what do i earn from collecting these like do i get to level up sonic do i get just more things to collect because like if there's no purpose to it, like if I don't get any meaningful change in playing the game because of these collectibles, then I'm less drawn to do them. And, you know, you could argue that just because, you know, of my speedrunner brain, that's just kind of like how I think, like, just like, oh, like if something's not fast or doesn't complete the main goal of the game, then what's the point? But like, even as somebody who enjoys games casually, what am I going to do with these things that I find? And I know a seven minute showcase of gameplay it's not going to tell the whole story but um i would like to see more uh worlds i'd like to see more of sonic in combat i'd like to see maybe a hud maybe to understand more about what we're collecting and maybe just a little bit more insight on the things that we can do in the world because as nice as it is to be able to like run around and just be sonic and go fast and enjoy this space of like this world that's been created i want it to be more than just a running simulator like the Sonic Speed Simulator game that just came out like a while ago. That's literally just that. It's just like running around and collecting things and leveling yourself up. I'm still optimistic. I think this game still looks pretty good for where it's at. I think people, I saw a lot of people on Twitter being a little bit hard on it as far as like, oh, it's kind of like empty, but I don't know, man. Unless like they, they prove that the world isn't as empty. Um, maybe they're right. But I, I really want this game to be good, man. Like, I really want this Sonic game to be successful. And uh, I, I still can't wait to play it. Like, as, as much shit as I'm talking, I'm still going to buy the game. I'm still going to play it. And I'm still going to enjoy it. Because at the end of the day, I'm a Sonic fan, man. And I just sip straight from the, the Sega tap. You know what I'm saying? So, anyways. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for taking a little bit of insight from me, the Sonic speedrunner. And please, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you guys drop a sub if you're able. Pretty, pretty, please. I'd appreciate it. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.